Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. Today I have a new video for you guys. I want to show you and swatch the new Beauty Creations Velvet Velvet Lip Paints. So I do have all of these shades. They're all really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and lip swatch all of them. I did also use one of the lippies to create this look. Eyes, cheeks, and lips. Kind of a monochromatic look. So if you guys want to see all 24 lippies swatched, then just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's just jump right in. Okay, guys. So these are the new lip paints. There are 24 shades. They are non-drying, long wear, weightless, and multi-use. They are $5.99. They're very silky smooth when applying they do dry down not too matte so they're really comfortable i wouldn't say they are transfer proof but they're not claiming to be transfer proof they're really really nice comment down below and let me know which one's your favorite i did find that a few of them were very close in color or maybe that's on my skin tone you know I'm just showing you what it would look like on me, but I hope this helps. If anything, I will leave in the description box which ones were probably my most favorite, which are kind of like the ones towards the end. I just really care for a darker one. So I will let you continue watching. Okay guys, so I already have my face done and some liquid contour type going on my brows. Anyways, I am going with the shade Moi. <laughs> I was going to try to kiss. Oh my god. Anyways, um, very creamy, very nice on the lid. It didn't feel drying. It didn't feel like something that shouldn't be on my eyelid. I did just grab a clean fluffy brush and really started patting it in because I mean, eventually when you pat it all in, it'll start to kind of dry down or kind of find its spot, but it was very nice to work with. It's not too drying, like it doesn't dry down too fast, so you definitely have time to work. I tried not to delete most of this part because there was nothing else I was really going to do to my eyes or at least to show you guys. So as you can see, I'm just tapping that in and if you feel like you got too much, you can always take some off your brush and put it on the back of your hand or sometimes I just have like a little towel on my desk when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so now for the cheek part, I did, maybe I should have grabbed a brush because I kind of dabbed on a little too much there for a second. I did start off with a duo fiber and I just felt like it was slapping the product way on and it wasn't going to blend it. I don't know why I didn't just reach for my sponge. I guess I just thought if I go in with the sponge right away, I don't really know how much could potentially be on here with the amount I put on, if that makes sense. You know, anyway, so here I am continuing to try with that until I'm finally like, okay, yeah, the sponge is definitely going to do it. And as you can see, it was blending it out. It wasn't really picking up a whole lot of product. So I thought that was really nice and easy to work with. Well, now for the lips. I didn't include every time I applied the lipsticks just because it was a lot of shades. So anyways, as you can see, they're very creamy. They're very easy to work. And that is basically it. Um, you will see the final look. And overall, I really like them. I think they are a great price. I think there's a very nice color selection. I wouldn't say you need all 24 shades, but it's very, it's just something really nice. This was probably my, one of my favorite colors and here I just kind of left some extra footage because I didn't know what time or when I would have time to film the voiceover since this is going up in my Spanish channel as well but that was after swatching all of them like my lips didn't feel dry they might have looked like it but they weren't anyways thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video